So yeah, basically, yeah. guys, what I'm doing is I usually use the um, the breakfast oats, which tend to be a lot smaller. Uh, the breakfast oats come in very small size. So we have these large oats. Did you come open the oats? What when you open the oats? Oats, man. 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 To making breakfast in the morning. If you don't want to make um, that that porridge that most people don't enjoy, you can just make this and it will still come out perfectly fine. All right. So what I got here is about um, three quarter cup of oats. I've crushed some and I've, uh, some have remained whole, okay. and it's going to be literally our base or rather our our flour, mm. right? Kwaibo, apa such kwa mandizi. You're the one who's doing the mashing of the banana. Please banana. put a banana in there, uh, and we're gonna yeah, mash up, uh, right? And the size, man, they're speaking. Nini? Size kubu and dogo. Eh, ah, yote, weka, weka yote. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you, chef. And what you're gonna do is, is, is just peel that off. Yes, okay. just the whole of it, right? And then drop, dump the whole of it in there, and then chef ame kupa mash up, uh, okay. mash up na yo, yeah. Okay. All right, now as that is going, uh, I think I'll start preparing the batter for the other one, which I... Is it the healthy one or the unhealthy This is the unhealthy one. Uh, huh? uh, it's much one. No, to put two in there. Two. Put two and then just two, actually one and a half because they're pretty big, yeah? Okay. Put one and a half in there. Now, this is my recipe for my mid, and I think I've done it before here, but mm. this time we're going to do it with a little bit of a twist. Uh, you can put a stuffing in there to make it as a dessert, serve it with some ice cream. Mm. Comes out absolutely beautifully. Mm. Or you can have these for breakfast. Now, what I normally do is I put a cup of flour in there straight. I always start with the dry ingredients. Yeah, that's okay. Mush up, mush up, mush up, kabisa. Like this? Yeah, yes, yeah, mush up. <laughs> Don't be shy, mash it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And then what I'm going to put is I'm going to put a quarter cup of sugar. Mm. Um, the reason why I don't put a lot of sugar is because we're going to sweeten it with a lot of other things. Give that a mix a little bit. And then I'm going to take a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt in, in most of these doughs. The flavor that comes from the pancake, absolutely delicious, yeah? yeah? All right, that's looking good, guys. If you're just joining us, we're making two types of pancake. That's the healthy and the non-healthy. Well, I wouldn't really say non-healthy. I'd just say super delicious, yeah. <laughs> right? And, and, and what we're going to do here is we're going to, I'm going to ask you to add two eggs to that. Two, two eggs to that, yes. Right. Um, now, that is going, so I've got my dry ingredients there. What I'm going to look and for is... Man. I smash uh, I so we put so. in the eggs? Yes, put in the eggs. Yeah, put okay. in the eggs. Mm. Two eggs. All right, love that. Now, guys, I have the um, dry ingredients, which is self-raising flour. Mm. I've got sugar. Mm. I love to put iliki, dried cardamom. Mm. That helps with the flavoring so much. And also just a pinch of cinnamon straight into that. These, I'm telling you, you'd enjoy them just as is. Now, at this point is where I put in a cup of milk. I love mine completely runny mm. because that's what differentiates it from a thick pancake and, um, you know, uh, and a made of a thick pancake and a crepe. All right, how are we looking there? Good? Good? Good. It was a ghetto, lakini. Niko sawa tu. Niko sawa tu. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in the oats. Aya, kwa ibo sasa changam, just use this to mix up, yeah? All right, thank you. And just mix up the oats. I want to see the consistency. You want almost like a batter. So the oats are going to soak in that egg, soak in that banana. Um, just keep going. I'm going to add a couple of more. And the thing about this is, is I love the small, if you have the smaller oats, then that would work perfectly. Mm. All right, guys, so I'm basically just mixing in, um... But see, there's a blend, but... Huh? There's a blend. There's a blend. You know what? Why you, you know what, chef? <laughs> I am... I just thought about it now. Right, <laughs> right, okay. That's actually fine. I think the consistency is perfect. Yeah. And, um... There's um, still be some bite into it, so... Exactly. Yeah. There's going to be a little bit of a chew into that. All right, so this is basically my batter, mm. which I've added milk. Now, this is the consistency that I'm telling you guys that is needed. It's mm. very runny. Um, and at this point is where you're going to add in your two eggs, right? I'm going to add, I'm going to drop it. Again, guys, don't do what I do. You want to break the egg, separate from the bowl, right? Otherwise, you, you just mess your whole batter. Mm. All right, so two eggs have gone in there. Now, this is a secret that I was always taught by my mother. You want to put the eggs last. This is what helps with that perfect, 
That looks actually pretty good. Yes, that looks amazing. We're gonna let that sit for a while. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the um, the heat for you. Oh wait, sorry. I'm turning on the wrong one. I'm gonna turn on this one for you. And uh, we're gonna put some oil in there and then I'll show you just how to scoop that on the out. Ushai take a pancake. All right, guys, if you're just joining us, we are joined by a talented uh, gospel artist, Manasse. The Slam he Kid. Will, the Slam Kid, and he will be sharing with us a little bit of his music. And of course, we have been getting to know a little bit of his journey. We basically started off with the pancake batter, um, which we will. Um, be cooking now and then chef has some amazing tacos he will be showing us how to make now chef utushai tengen is easy taco shells beleni yeah we have uh, but you can be able to get that um in the supermarket mm. they're in the supermarket as well yeah sasa ulisema sembe kaingo ho yeah kaingo ho pale ndo tumezoea yeah kigongesha hivi unajua the day at least umekula hiyo siku unaweza kumekula hizi vitu za wa mchele mchele hapo hiyo ni appetizer right all right now guys tuna nini hapo umefanya nini na hii nimesmash hapo tumandizi sasa sijui iji iko na jina hii it's just an oat pancake oh, oat pancake oat pancake okay. you know what i'm going to do just to make sure that the texture is fine yes. chef can uh, no yeah, i think i'll just uh, chop this up i <laughs> quick quick thinking <laughs> i'll chop this up just to add a little bit more texture um and this is just basically breaking them up and it's gonna it, it's gonna ease in the soaking of those eggs and it's gonna add to the thickness of the batter that we've made there polis na ruka ruka weza fanya hivyo at least hivi eh mtu anashikilia kisu hapa there you go you're a professional <laughs> professional in the making <laughs> by the way kaka kuna tunachukia kuna time nilifanya job kwa china manze walikuwa wananipea job ya kukata kata pilipili wa akia nani that's the worst job in my family how did you make it but you still managed to kona lia lia au kwa hivi na sneeze manze na sneeze umalize uweke kwa pan crazy eh manze all right now guys we have heated our pans as he's chopping that and this is basically the consistency that i needed to be see super runny i've made a mistake because you need to make sure that your pan is completely hot uh but that's fine the first one is always it's always the test run test run guys that looks absolutely perfect once that's crushed through mm. no 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 continue with that those other ones yeah then we'll place that in there okay right so one of the pans are going mm. um and then chef will be telling us what he needs manase to help him with next uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> now guys you do not want to make the same mistake i have wait for the pan to get completely hot mm. um because literally it takes seconds to make it when the pan is completely hot mm -hmm. you literally just want to pour the batter and then flip it and it's completely done now i already <laughs> huh? love the way it looks this is the consistency you want guys and if you've noticed we have put no sugar in here whatsoever right that's okay. a first for me for first for right yeah, <laughs> so the sugar. bananas are what's going to act as the sugar mm. so what we're going to do is the best thing about these pancakes is you can actually make a so couple so say coming a pana yo oh. just please flip for me that other one chef <laughs> thank you before it cooks real quick it cooks real real mm, quick son. right just lift it lift it because it's going to burn lift the pan up yeah there you go okay. so what we're going to do is i'm just placing two on the actually like we can even do three just to make sure that we make a couple um in time and um what this does is in a, when you tazi flip sasa kwa hivyo mbona vile nimefanya ya uh you just watch them and then you will flip them so we're going to wait for them to cook there's some oil on there then you flip them mm. right oh chef that actually looks pretty good here you go there's your spatula and of course guys uh, we will be ha. making some tacos after a bit mm. and chef will be telling us how to do that why did you scream you like tacos <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? you like yeah, tacos yeah. you're about to find out just how good chef makes actually them. i eat ta is it ta 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 tacos. tacos yeah tacos. yeah I, actually oscar the juggler made me eat for the first time ever mm. yeah i think a month ago oh wow uh, nice just, uh, go fresh. Uh, hey. go fresh, and now chef where do they originate from uh mexico the states right uh, so states of yeah adapt to yeah, yeah they yeah. just so adapt everyone to has it. their own style of making it now okay mm. all right so uh what do you what are you going to start with chef okay so we're going to make kachumbari kwanza okay and then we can finish up with the chicken which will take a long time 
All right, now this is just something that I like to do. I like to fold them into quarters uh, for purposes of plating. Um, if you're serving too many, then you don't necessarily have to plate this way. I just love to do it this way. Uh, in terms of presentation, it's easier for my kids to just pick their own, right? Mm. Yours take a little bit more time yeah, because so. they have to cook through. Sure, sure. Yeah? Uh, but you want to keep watching that because at the end of the day, you don't want that to burn. Let me help you there, yeah, sure. right? So what you want to do is just, just, yeah, this is ready. You see, yeah, you just flip that, mm. yeah? Sure, sure. And, and and you can see the consistency is different, the texture is different, but bado ina piki kakama pancake ngewe, yeah? And I'm gonna show you how to make these healthy treats a lot more tasty. Mm. A lot of people wanna scare healthy, wanna wanna fikire na faku onja vibaya, you know? And the healthy doesn't mean disgusting, healthy just means healthy, yeah. meaning less sugar, you watch the calories, you watch the quantities, right? Yep.